Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another episode here on Past Caesar Skin. We're doing a cold open episode for the PS Freebie series. This is Typewriter. It is actually one of the free games available as of yesterday on the EU and US accounts. Now, there's a bit of a difference this month. For the first time in months, they've actually made a difference between EU and USA. Uh, Typewriter seemed to be the one that was definitely going to be there. Uh, there was also another game, of course, the ones right next to it, Laser Disco Defenders. I think there was an issue with uh, rights for one of the games outside of, and that's how we ended up with Alien Nation as well. But like I said, we're focusing on Typewriter. There's a whole games, uh, there's a whole discussion that I want to have about PS Plus, probably in a separate video. I might just do it as like a, a, a more as you know kind of like PSA chatty video. Maybe I might do it over a footage of Alien Nation because it's a game I've already covered here on the channel. But uh, let's just jump in and get ourselves into Typewriter and check it out. Um, from what I know of Typewriter, it's it's a platforming game that actually uses fonts. Typo Man makes me think similar, but it was more of a puzzle game than a platformer. So let's see what we've got in store for us here on Typewriter. So taking a look, riding along on a magic rainbow. Typewriter. I, just, I like the name, Typewriter. It makes me think of the old um, line writer games that you used to play with where you drew and you actually had a sled that traveled along the path that you drew. I mean, that would be kind of cool if they actually did something like this, but I imagine that would be something more for the PS Vita than anything else. So, the typographic video game. I can get behind that. How ominous. God damn it, it's a couple of periods. Full stops, we're on to you. CinemaSins, 42 seconds of intros. Tutorial, right, there we go. Use the left stick to move. And that's what we'll do. Hands everywhere, hands on all the walls. Use options button to view the unlocked content. All right. Gear paintings, okay. The origins of man. You have unlocked the first page of history of typography. Oh, this is delightful. So this is actually going to be uh, educational along the way. So gameplay wise, um, we're going to be here seeing early stages stage of typography. We're going to be working our way through from past to modern fonts and explanations through all of this. Uh, God, I'm, I'm on board with that. That's cool. Uh, that is interesting. Cuneiform. Very cool. So we're literally just working our way through uh, the history of fonts. Man, if you ever want a good movie, go and watch Havaltica. Okay. Retry his triangle. Okay, so we're meant to have retried there. Assuming that's going to happen sometimes where we're going to actually fall into a pit. Okay. Our balance and stuff is going to be used with L2, R2. Okay. So while we're flying in the air, we can actually rotate ourselves. It's weird because it looks like it's two eyes just looking up at me. Oh, whoopsie. There might have been some danger there. Oh, ho. So as an edu this is an educational game, essentially, more than anything else. Rip. Oh, Chinese characters, cool. Uh, what are we gonna need to do? All right. Hey, we made it across the gap. Physics puzzles, ha <laughs> ha! We're moving on to a modern era. Oh, okay, we find something else. Hey! Hey! The Greek alphabet. Oh, that was nice. I actually like that little kind of like wheelie that we did with the back wheel. Or the back, the back period. Ah! Ha 
<laughs> I like the fact that you can actually kind of like just like roll on top of it. Oh, no, no, no. No. How did that make sense? What? Um, physics decided to disagree with me for a second there. That was weird. There we go. All three of them filled. And we make it to the origins of the letter. <laughs> okay, so I'm getting on board with this. This isn't too bad. This is all right. So congratulations, you finished the tutorial. Um, let's see what we got to continue on to. So all the bits and pieces were picked up. I'm assuming it's actually the same that you actually find all the informational bits, and that's actually what encourages you to continue on. Yeah, that was the origins. Can we jump up here? Oh, no. Well, that was origins complete. Now on to the next chapter. Pipe Rider! Bird -ba -ba -ba. All right, moving on. All right. So the gothic font? All right, I can get on board with that. <laughs> so each of the chapters are going to be based on um, best total time. All right, so it's a challenge for time. Uh, can you find all the characters of this chapter? Yeah, I'm sure I can. So the um, a lot of the levels are going to be based around uh, writing on font. So let's see what we got here. Let's go. Go. Bring it on. There we go. Um, we'll actually see what kind of, um, level design. Yeah, that's cool. I actually like the fact the levels are based on literal text, so it's kind of like almost a speed running thing that you have to do. Oh. Ah. Ah. Ooh, ah. Whoa. Oh, shit. No. Ah, my damn. I missed that one. I'm not going to get that one back. We can't go anywhere from that. Damn it. Well, it looks like we have to go to school this way. I thought we might be able to lap back again. So, uh, obviously, the levels have got this kind of. Oh, can I actually wall jump back and forth? Yeah! Yeah! Ah! No! Shit! Ah, uh, that's kind of cool. Be interesting if I could Batman my way all the way up here to the upper side of the. No. Damn it. Oh. Ah! 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 Yes! Yes! Ah, oh, damn it! <laughs> Whenever I say Batmaning, it's essentially the same as like doing Batman from the original NES game, um, where you a majority of that game was spent learning how to ridiculously wall jump. I remember getting stuck so bad on so many levels because I just couldn't make the wall jumps that were required to go up a hallway without actually uh, falling back down again. The uh, Ninja Gaiden style, I suppose. All right, let's see. Hey, <laughs> that was easy to do. All right. Oh shit. No. Ah, uh, crap. Didn't mean to do that. I'll come back for you. Uh, yep. Uh, yep. Oh uh, uh, no. Crap. I want to get that symbol before I move on. Oh. Uh, oh nah. See, I need to actually swing myself forward. Makes sense. Uh-huh. All right. Oh, hang on. All right. Rotation involved. No. Nope. Hey! <laughs> there we go. And there's actually details of who Honenberg was. Gutenberg. Honenberg? <laughs> Awesome. So, um, yeah, obviously we're kind of like uh, wheeling through this and I'm sure there's actually a lot more depth to it where you uh, should spend a lot of time reading up the history of the fonts and the lettering that you're actually playing through. Gameplay wise, it feels fairly uh, simple is the way to describe it, but um, I wouldn't say actually like simple bad. Uh, simplified as in because, oh wow, <laughs> whoops. 
Uh, you can actually die. Whenever I say simple, it doesn't mean easy. Uh, but the game itself actually doesn't require a lot from you. Um, Difficulty-wise, it just requires you to actually kind of um, learn as you play. Oh, there we go. Go around this way. Ah, no. So I could probably got one more extra letter if I went up the top, but I'm around. So I'm wondering if I can actually make it through. Oh, oh, wow. Had to time that right. Oh, shit. <laughs> Forget those U's! Hey, hey! 360s. <laughs> oh, that was like uh, some blotting paper or blotting board thing of some sort. So, I. <laughs> Got past you, the letterpress. <laughs> Where are two living full stops living on the edge? Oh, wow. Cool. So this is the last page. Ow. <laughs> right. So is it a puzzle piece? Yeah. Ah, cool. Eep. Yeah, cool. Gutenberg's Bible. Oh shit, <laughs> come back here. Huh. Ah! Damn it, ball. There we go. Problem solved. And that was the Gothic font. So yeah, um, there's a number of different worlds I imagine to actually work through in this. A lot of history, a lot of uh, letters to actually teach us, a lot, a lot of font typography. Um, I'm looking for my, we're looking for my serif. I need my, I need to explain what sans is. God damn it! Somebody needs to explain to kids about the sans uh, name and essentially characters from Undertale. The fact that they actually like lettering and what they mean in context. It's little bits and pieces like that that actually like teach, teach important stuff. Um, that make kids learn rather than actually just thinking, oh, it's just the name of a character. No, no, it's something other than that as well. Like, learn the deeper context, the intertextuality of all video games, because not a single video game can exist without any of the other ones that came before it, or even the actual lettering that is used within it. So, uh, guys, yeah, what do you think? This is, um, Line Rider? Or not Line Rider. <laughs> um, Typewriter. I, I'm enjoying this. Uh, it's fun, educational... Hijinks. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't you be at that. I want to go up here. Yes. There we go. Going back to the title screen so I can actually have a cool logo. There we go. <laughs> so this is Typewriter. Um, it's one of the games that are available on the PS Plus for this month. Uh, it's for the month of May. Uh, I recommend it for an educational experience. It ranks up there in the interesting experiences with Never Alone. And... Um, this not not War of Mine. What is the other one? Uh, Valiant Hearts is it the one about World War One? It's one of those games that actually intentionally has a deeper relevance to your education while still involving itself with basically interesting and enjoyable gameplay. So if you don't check out Typewriter, check out those other two I recommended. Uh, they're all in a very similar vein that they uh, that you're playing a game that also educates you as you go along. And I would personally say uh, Valiant Hearts is probably the best one out of the three that I just recommended. But Typewriter isn't bad in any way, shape, or form. Simple platformer. If you like those two-dimensional platformers, like, I suppose, like Limbo or Inside, it kind of fits in that same vein. Um, I couldn't... Uh, or Typo Man. Actually, like, Typo Man is a perfect example of, like this as well. I'd recommend it, so uh, I rec you should go and check it out. Uh, it's, it's for free as part of PS Plus, so if you're on PS Plus, why haven't you played it already? If you're not on PS Plus, consider it, because these games are kind of fun, they're actually interesting, and especially if you have a younger audience in your house, they'll enjoy playing this game. They might not read any of the details, but they'll actually get a visual concept, they'll understand some of the things that'll be showing up, and they might ask you a few questions that you can actually share and uh, learn, teach them, give them a teaching moment along the way. So um, yeah, guys, this has been Typewriter. 
If you enjoyed my commentary over this uh, bit of the gameplay, make sure to hit the subscribe button that's sitting up there. It'll actually allow you to see all the videos that come up anywhere. Uh, if you're actually following this on any stream that doesn't have that subscribe button working, just hit the follow, like, and sub button that actually is applied to that particular method. You can also find me easily by just hitting Passage of Skin, throwing that into Google. You can easily find me anywhere. I'm not exactly hiding anywhere, so you can always just type in the name. You know where I'm going to be. And also, of course, over on this side, if you're actually on YouTube, YouTube? YouTube. You can actually see a playlist of other games that are being available on the PS freebies. Uh, you can probably see a list of cold opens, and you can also see a video that is recommended just for you. It's based on the YouTube analytics. It actually picks a video based on your taste that is on my channel that you might like, and it'll be right there that you can just hit and check. So, guys, thank you very much for watching, and I will see all you dudes in the next video. Bye.